Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading, okay, where I will put three cards up and you have to pick one that you are more drawn to. So, here we go. Okay, and then I will do a reading from there. Now, we have card number one, card number two, and card number three. Go ahead and pause the video so that you can concentrate on the cards, and that way you can pick whichever one is calling you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with card number one. If you picked card number one, sorry. If you picked card number one, you picked the Mary Motive number 20. Let's go ahead and read about it. And then I will pull some tarot. So a merry motive key concept is knowing your own motives, understanding what drives you to meet your goals, the momentum your attention creates, and the wisdom behind your intentions. Okay? Now only you know what your intentions are okay about a situation that obviously you have on your mind here so it says you've chosen a path you've set an intention and you've begun to move forward toward a goal you feel compelled to keep going but do you know the why behind this drive do you truly want what you're pursuing or are you chasing a destination with the anticipation of how it will make others feel about you or how you feel about yourself you must choose to be in the flow of experience, relishing the moment. Surrender your expectations to the higher power, rather than being guided by your limited self. The most important aspect to consider is where you place your focus, because that's where energy will flow. If you're resentful, the outer world will show you more opportunities to be resentful. If you're envious of others, competitive, and overly ambitious, you will always feel as if you're not enough. If you focus on gratitude and compassion for others, you'll be, you will see even more reasons to be grateful and loving. When you look for abundance, it has an uncanny way of multiplying in your life. So if you're unsure about your motives, the results will be just as unclear. You need to dig deep and understand your why. If your true desire is to experience this, let go of your attachment to the form that this is supposed to come in. Make sure your motive is merry and joyful, clear and honest, and true, and trust that the universe will provide the outcome that's a perfect match for your intention, because it always is. Okay. So there's your oracle card, pal number one. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot for you. I'm sorry, let me go get my cards. <laughs> Pile number one. Messages does the tarot have for you? 
two more shuffles. Don't mind my long nail. I couldn't get it off and I'm not about to rip my real nail off here. Okay. Three cards, please. Two more. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Three of Pentacles upright. And the world card reversed. Under the deck, we have the temperance in the reverse. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Pound number one. There's definitely some feelings of unworthiness, some creative blocks here. Okay, there's definitely some doubt when it comes to how you're feeling about yourself, right? And feeling like other people may not be recognizing the qualities that you have within you. Okay, um, maybe some people have been putting you down or maybe some people have been making you feel less than, okay? Um, but I feel like once you begin to cultivate a belief in yourself that other people's opinions of you don't matter, okay? You're going to start to see a shift and you will see that your confidence will empower yourself to take action on your own behalf here and that others will start to recognize this and approach you with more respect and more admiration but you need to start demanding respect from people is what i'm getting here and stop allowing people to kind of walk all over you and if not walk all over you treat you as if you are less than them okay treat you with some kind of entitlement whatever that entitlement is Okay, you know what I'm talking about here. With the Three of Pentacles, this is some new doors opening for you and some success coming in for you. Okay, as you can see, this person has something that he weaved into. Um, it kind of looks like those, um, I, I forget what they're called, but I love those things. Um like a tapestry of some sort okay but this is you sharing your ideas with confidence and accepting projects and work that you're passionate about that you actually want to do something that makes you feel alive something that you want to put your effort into right because when you do this not only will it be well received by others around you but it will put you into a position of new doors to open for you because this is the next level of prosperity that you've been waiting for and i feel like with this doubt of your self-worth you're hindering this new door to open for you because you have what it takes to build yourself a prosperous future okay pile one if this has to do with love you definitely need to start putting yourself out there despite feeling intimidated by going on dates or maybe you feel some sort of social anxiety. But whatever it is, you need to start spending time with people who motivate you, who inspire you, who make you feel uh, worthy, who make you feel the way that you should feel, who make you feel like they're happy to be in your presence. Okay? Um... But whatever it is, I feel like you're going to be in a position where you make um, some connections. 
whether it be with friends or whether it be romantically. Your career is about to present you with new opportunities, okay? If you're looking to apply for a new job and you feel kind of scared, just let people know that you're available and take the steps toward starting this new chapter, okay? Now is the time for you to shine, pile one. With the world card in the reversed, this is about something incomplete, um, there's definitely a cycle here that needs to be completed. And it's definitely being delayed. Um, maybe you have a lack of closure. Or maybe you're not quite ready to accept the fact that something is closing out for you. But know that this is something that you can offer yourself, okay? By telling yourself that you're ready to move on. By telling yourself that you're no longer going to put up with um, people treating you less than. Okay? Because we have the temperance reversed here. And this is about imbalance, okay? Whatever the situation you're thinking of right now, it was imbalanced, okay? It was pushing for, for a result that you wanted or trying too hard and forcing a situation instead of relaxing and allowing it to unfold with the divine. There definitely is some moderation that was needed in this connection or in this situation. All right, because you are not aligned with this energy that's around you. Okay, it's it's causing you to come out of alignment with your divine path and the divine is here trying to tell you to find that balance so that you can avoid extreme situations and avoid extreme behaviors and avoid people around you that are just treating you like dirt okay let's go ahead and clarify a little bit here spirit what can we clarify um this queen of wands please clarify this queen of wands last shuffle Yeah. We have the Ten of Cups reversed, clarifying this Queen of Wands. Okay? Somebody in your energy, Pile One, they were not in it for the long haul. They were not putting in the effort. They were not giving you the emotion. Okay? It was a disharmony. It was an obstacle. There was a disconnection between you and somebody else. Okay? But you have the opportunity to turn this around. Okay? I think you need to listen to the divine trying to guide you here. Okay? The divine's trying to tell you that this person didn't have the best of intentions for the connection. What about this three of pentacles? That's too many. What about this three of pentacles? All right, that one flipped out. We have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, wow. Look at that. So clarifying the three of pentacles is the seven of pentacles. That's you reaping the fruits, uh, uh, the fruits of your labor. Okay. The seeds that you are sowing when it comes to your success, you're going to reap those very soon. Um, pile one, You have new doors coming in, and this is going to bring you some good success here, okay? That's a great card. Um, just keep putting your energy 
into your passions and I guarantee you you will start to see things unfold for you that you never thought were possible this is patience okay this is you this is the divine telling you to have patience okay because you're very very close to seeing something tangible from your efforts okay and not to give up not to give up stay positive stay grateful for the small things and stay stay grateful for um, the small promises that you're keeping to yourself okay because you know what those promises are that you have told yourself what about the world card two of pentacles all right this is you preventing this closure this is you preventing this cycle from closing because it's like you have a decision to make and you're kind of up in the air about it all right it's like you know that this this cycle is no good for you and you know that once you close it out it's going to bring you balance and stability okay i feel like maybe you're struggling to find the balance for yourself like between your social life and your work life but you really need to choose what you're passionate about and think what should you be doing okay um and if, and if what you should be doing is challenging then that's good and trust that you'll be able to handle this okay you'll be able to handle the challenges let's go ahead and um Let's pull some message cards. I've added a, a couple cards to my message deck. Okay. So what messages does pile one? need to hear. I'm going to shuffle these really good. What messages does pile one need to hear? This might mean something, okay, October to December. This might be your birthday or their birthday. Okay, pile one. We have, can we leave all the drama in the past? Obviously, this person knows that they are the drama, okay? They may or may not have wanted to admit it, but that's the first step to solving something. You can't just do something or act a certain way towards somebody and then expect them to just forgive you when you don't own up to your mistakes, right? Yeah, be more selfish. So, pile one, I feel like you need to start being more selfish, okay? Just like what I said earlier about this person making you feel unworthy, making you feel less than, you, start, you need to start being more selfish and need to start loving yourself more. You're not going to get the respect that you deserve if you don't start to show that you demand it. I never understood what you saw in me. So this person understands that they know deep down inside that uh, pile one that they are unworthy of your love. And therefore, I think that's why they made you feel less than because they know deep down inside pile one 
that they are less than. Okay? That's what it is here. What do we have under the deck? Rage, explosive, angry. That's what this person is. This person cannot control their emotions. This person has raged out on you before. This person has exploded on you before. This person has shown you anger. That is not the type of person that you need in your energy, pile one, because this person is just going to continue to siphon the energy from you because they need your good energy. They don't have it. They cannot replenish themselves with good energy. Okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead and pull a couple more. Okay, pile one. What messages do we have for my pile one, please? Read my third text. Go ahead and read the third text from this person. What does it say? How does it make you feel? What does your gut tell you about it? Okay. We have A through M. Their initials could be A through M or yours could be A through M. Yeah, again, there's no one that compares. Pal one, this person knows that nobody compares to you. Why do you think that they made you feel so irrelevant? They just can't admit that the grass was not greener on the other side. I push you away because I'm stubborn. Again, more clarification. Okay? More clarification that they're too stubborn and they have too big of an ego to really show you that nobody compares to you. One more. I was being fake the whole time. Yeah. They can't show their emotions to you, pile one. Okay, they have to be fake. They have to put up a front. Their ego just won't allow it. Is that really somebody who you want to give your all to? Is that really somebody who you want to be pure and and um, have the greatest of intention with? Somebody who can't even reciprocate? What do we have under the deck? Wow. I was just using you. What were they using you for? You know. You know what they were using you for. Whether it was sexual, whether it was money, whether it was a place to stay, whether it was something to get them ahead or something that would benefit them, but it didn't benefit you, did it? I don't think so. Pile one, that is concluding your reading. Thanks for all the love, guys. I'm going to go on to pile two now. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, pile two. This was your card. If you picked card number two. We have Call of the Muse, number 31. Call of the Muse number 31 for my pile two. Hmm. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, 
um, I will be uploading this video and the link is in the description of my IG account okay all right so the key concepts of this card is creative expression being in the flow of creativity tuning in to inspiration and allowing creativity without being self-conscious writing and journaling as a means of connection okay give me one second sorry okay when you feel the call of the muse you're being invited to create to be the artist choreographing your life serving on behalf of the great artist the divine source while the process feels intensely personal your ego and self-identification are ironically the most unnecessary parts of the equation while you might think you own the magic of your creativity can you truly say you're the source of the inspiration? Similar to the spirit of genius from card number 29. Imagine your creativity stemming from another spirit guide, the muse. Just as the genius needs to partner with your intellect. Thanks for the love, guys. I really appreciate that. So too does the muse need you to open your heart and let magic flow through your intuition and emotions. Stop seeing yourself as the center of the process and instead see yourself as a partner in the creative dance. Sometimes you might be inside the music and the feelings. Other times you observe from the sidelines, watching it flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. Today, your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to be given a voice, a name, a shape, or a color. Journal, finish that writing project, start something new, paint, sing, dance, and don't worry where any of it lands. It has its own plans for you. Your muse knows that this is meant to to go. For you, the magic is in the experience. That's awesome. I just want you guys to meditate on this card for a second. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot for my pile number two. Spirit, what messages do we have for my pile two? One more. Okay. We have the chariot. This is some cancer energy here. We have the king of pentacles in the reversed some earth energy and we have the two of wands okay some fire energy wow okay under the deck we have the wheel of fortune upright okay
You could be dealing with a fixed sign. All right, that would be a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but those are just um, the energies coming through. But it, like I said, it doesn't have to be. Um, okay. So with the Chariot card, pile number two, you are gaining some momentum here you are moving towards something you're moving toward a, a a journey or something that you're you're focused on right you have a goal that you're wanting to move toward okay you what this is asking you is to have a clear intention right to have a focus and a plan for action on what it is that you want. Because I feel like there's some kind of a haziness here, okay, as to what it is you want and how you're going to get it, right? But we'll go ahead and pull some clarifiers on this as well. Um, determination alone is not enough to propel you toward what it is that you want, okay? You need to build a solid foundation and you need to create structure. These two things are necessary before you can make a big decision about something. And I feel like maybe if you're not sure what to tackle right now, listen to your intuition to guide you through the next steps of what it is. Um, this is you more moving fast in a relationship. Do you both have the same vision for the future? This is you creating a solid foundation and established plans before taking the relationship to the next level. Now, this could be romantic, this could be friend, this could be business, career, whatever, okay? With the King of Pentacles in the reverse, this is about a little bit of self-centeredness and greed, um, or somebody who's just focused on m material gain only. Okay, this can also be somebody who's like a father figure or just an older male or it doesn't have to be a male, but it's an older dominant personality. Or this could even just be you pushing yourself too hard to get results, right? Um, you could even be butting heads with somebody who might only just care about outer appearance, okay? Or somebody who's a little bit self-centered that indulges in this kind of behavior, but you do need to look beneath the surface here and see the truth of this situation or this person. Okay. Um, this two of wands, pile number two, is um, it's a choice, right? A choice that you need to make or some something in the future that you're planning on doing. But this is a possibility around making plans for the future, okay? This is going to push you forward. Now, with the Chariot and the Two of Wands, this is literally pushing you forward or pushing you towards something. Don't become impatient and take action too soon, okay? I feel like you need to choose between accepting a new opportunity and maybe even staying where you are. But if this is the case, listen to your intuition. The one that excites you the most might be worth a risk, okay? Uh, whether this is a new partnership, relationship, um, career, whatever it is, um, a supportive relationship might be presenting itself to you. And it's going to help you to navigate these challenges or these changes, okay? This person or this situation is going to help you to grow in new ways that you've never thought were possible. Um, because with this Wheel of Fortune, number 10, under the deck, this is about a change and this is about a cycle. So if you feel like there's negative moments in your life right now, positive is coming in. And it's going to empower you to navigate the uncertainty and the challenges that you're facing by understanding that life is a part of everyday cycle on a deeper level than you can even imagine. 
You build your own strength and you build your own resilience. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is a focus on what you can control, okay? In order to find peace within the uncertainty of change and to let go of things that you can't control, okay? Let go of things that are, are beyond your control. And that way, by doing this, you open yourself up to some faded events and meetings, okay? So things that are a part of your destiny and a part of your fate, by letting go of things you can't control, it's going to come in, okay? Because what's meant for you is not going to miss you. It's not going to pass you by. Let's go ahead and clarify because I want to know what this chariot is about. Pile two. What is this chariot about? And guys, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Please hit that like button. Please leave me a comment. Hey guys that are tuning in, thank you so much. Oh wow, that's too many. Please clarify this chariot. King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords. Clarifying the chariot. Pile two. This is about leadership. Are you... What I'm getting from this is I feel like you're moving toward a position of being a leader. Okay? Um... The king represents stability. They represent authority, okay? Masculine energy. Even if you're a female, this is a a card of authority, okay? Um, this is somebody who is empowered to take action from their higher mind, their higher intellect. Um, this can also be somebody coming in that is highly intelligent and successful. Somebody who's going to come in and try and charm you. Or someone that is very charming with their communication. Now this could be you or somebody else. Take it how it resonates. But someone who's more charming than passionate with their emotions. Okay. It's somebody taking a rational approach towards something. Uh, a logical action toward your goals. Maybe becoming your own boss. Maybe receiving a promotion taking a leadership role, okay, representing authority at the workplace, so, signaling that you're going to be respected for who you are and what you do and what you're contributing, right? Uh, this can also be good news in a legal matter if you're facing something legal. This can also be you having the confidence to take authority of your own life, Okay, and taking uh, standing up for yourself, standing up for your ideas, letting yourself be known, putting yourself out there. Okay, maybe you're taking advice from um, someone in a, uh, that has an authoritative position. What about this King of Pentacles? Can we clarify this, please? Honey. Might be dealing with the Leo. The strength card flew out. Just one. Okay. All right, the world card. Wow. Okay, so like I said, here's some more fixed signs. Like I said earlier, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Don't necessarily have to be, but. 
Clarifying this King of Pentacles is the world card. Number 21. This is the card of completion. This is successful completion. This is reaping the rewards, okay, of your, um, your hard work. Um, it's the end of a cycle. It's the completion of a project, okay? Um, celebrating your wins, acknowledging how far you've come. Excitement of what's yet to come, okay? Um, I feel like you're ready to start this new journey from a place of maturity and empowerment. Again, two things that keep coming up in this reading. Um, you're definitely receiving rewards and recognition. Definitely coming in here. You're taking on more responsibility and you're rising to the occasion. Okay? You're completing a phase of life that's gonna that's pushing you into the next phase. Okay, and you're gonna be very, very, very proud of yourself. Let's go ahead and clarify the two of wands. Whoops. Okay. shuffle the eight of cups okay so like i said the two of wands was a choice of the future or a decision and you're definitely walking away from something the eight of cups is moving on walking away not settling for something that was unfulfilling okay you're kind of like, I don't care what I think I'm missing by walking away from this. You're following your heart and your instinct towards something more meaningful, okay? And you're releasing things that once brought you happiness. Maybe this person did or this situation did bring you happiness. Um, but in order to make the journey, you're going to have to release certain things, right? And even behaviors, not just people or situations, but behaviors, objects, places even. You might be moving literally locations. but And it might feel distressing, but I feel like that flash of sadness trap, don't let it trap you in a situation that you no longer need to be in, okay? Don't let it trap you. Don't let it fool you. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some um, message cards. What messages do we have for pile two? I'm unpredictable. Hmm. I would get your name tattooed right now. Hmm, interesting. These two or these three just fell out though so. we have I promise I've grown okay I 
I have narcissistic traits. Interesting. And my life means more to me than this connection. So take this however it resonates, but pile two, I feel like this person is just, um, well, number one, they have narcissistic traits. They could be an actual narcissist. They could actually have narcissistic personality disorder, but you know, I'm not a therapist, so I can't diagnose that, but this person's selfish and this person will lie just to get what they want, right? With this, I promise I've grown. Well, actions speak louder than words, right? Has this person shown any action behind the words or are they just talking? What do we have under the deck? Wow. I love that body or booty. Now, obviously this person is sexually attracted to you. And I feel like whatever it is that you did to this person, you got a hold on them. Okay. What did you do to this person? <laughs> Pile two. They cannot let you go. They are a little bit obsessed. All right. And, you know, a, a little bit of a obsession is good, but I feel like it's more, there's more to it than this, Right. You need more than just a physical connection. You need mental, spiritual, emotional. This person, I feel like, was mainly on that physical, okay? And not only mainly on that physical, but I feel like they were just like, whatever, whatever would, what's the word I'm trying to use? Whatever would make them, whatever would feed them feed their emotion, feed that need of theirs. Okay. Whatever they could get from you to feed that is all they look at, is all they're looking for. They're not looking for anything solid and you need that pile too. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull a couple more. Two. What messages do we have for pile two? One more. I can't even look at you right now. What did this person do? Okay. Hmm. What did I say? I've tried to replace you. I can't. I just said that this person's tried to find that grass is always greener on the other side type thing and they just can't replace you, okay? I dream about you in the 5D. Although this person can't physically be with you, they're always thinking of what it would be like to have that commitment with you, right? What would it be like to have the things that you want with them? But are they going to actually put action toward it, right? It's like, yeah, you can dream about it all day, but have you done anything to put effort into it. You and me against the world? Yeah. Well, there comes a time when you have to ask yourself, oh, why do we have to keep fighting for this relationship? Right? Relationships are not about fighting or, f or, or you and them against everybody. It should just work right? It's, it's almost like when someone says to you, well, you're not going to fight for this. You're not going to fight for this, but I'm fighting for this. Who are you fighting? What are you fighting? You're fighting me. 
You're not fighting anything but me. Okay, and why do I need to constantly fight for this? Yeah, you see? <laughs> I need you for my own reasons. There's that narcissistic tendencies. There's that um, egotistical um, needs. Yeah, they need you for their own reasons, okay? For their own gain, their own personal gain. Whatever they need to use you for, whatever they need to obtain from you. Are they giving back or are they just taking? Okay. Oh, I love you enough to let you go. That one just flew out. I think that's you. All right, pile two. That was your reading. I hope that it resonated for you and I hope that it gave you some clarity. Okay, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Um, on my YouTube page and let's go ahead and move on to pile three pile number three oops well there it is pile number three <laughs> we have roots of abundance number two give me just one second go ahead and meditate on that card guys I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry, I had to grab some chocolate. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, number two, the roots of abundance. The key concepts of this card is being stabilized by deep roots anchoring yourself and feeling secure in your life and trust and belief in abundance. This card signals you to pay attention to how you are anchored in the story of your life. Trust that you will be taken care of. The world is full of limit, limitless potential and will nourish you according to your beliefs, regardless of temporary outer conditions. You are not a victim of life. Life happens for you, not to you. Even if sometimes you slip into that way of thinking, if you're grounded and intentionally, I'm sorry, grounded and internally steadfast, nothing can uproot you and you will have the ability to manifest your intentions with ease. The message here is simple. Your life is safe and secure and your intentions are coming to fruition. All your hopes and dreams are firmly grounded and taking root so you can reach for the stars in your life and expand your dreams further than you can imagine. Everything in the material world is a reflection of your interior world. You're unstoppable and unshakable because you believe that you are abundant. Know that you can easily move from merely surviving to thriving when you pay attention and you stay grounded. If you find yourself ungrounded, now's the time for trust. Growth never follows a straight line. You will manifest what you need when you need it. 
A tall, healthy tree doesn't need to hold on to the ground for dear life. It knows it will not fly away with the wind because its roots are planted deep in the earth. Okay. Go ahead and meditate on that for a second. Go ahead and pull some tarot. What messages do we have for pile three? You know what? I'm going to take them anyway. We have the Six of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The Hermit reversed. So this is some Virgo energy. And the Ten of Swords reversed. We have a lot of air energy here, so that is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and some Virgo energy. And then we have the Fool under the deck, upright, some Aries energy. Okay. So, pile number three. six of swords here you're moving towards something you're embarking on a healing journey um i feel like there was some conflicts and challenges that you had to conquer okay it was like a string of events and i feel like you're ready to expand your journey This is you rep reprieving from conflict, right? It's about you healing from something and guiding yourself to release something mentally and emotionally. So this could either be a physical journey that you're taking, like literally going somewhere, moving somewhere, or just mentally. But whatever it is, it's going to be beneficial, okay? So whatever this journey is, it's important and it will be beneficial for you okay um with the queen of swords and this is you being decisive and being honest with yourself this is you being logical okay um and asking you to approach a complex a complex situation by formulating a logical approach a logical response instead of an emotional one and using your intuition to guide you toward who or what this card represents in your life. Um, and it can also be telling you to remain single and focus on the relationship with yourself, especially if you have experienced difficulties um, with relationships. With this hermit card reversed, um, it's about you feeling a little bit lonely or a little bit isolated. Um, Maybe you have a fear of being alone, or maybe you are refusing to look within yourself. But it can also mean that you've been isolated for too long, and it's time to kind of like reach out for support and a connection. Um, and again, using your intuition toward the meaning that this is resonating for you. Okay? <sighs> Ten of Swords here, reversed, is about hanging on to something. Okay, maybe hanging on to the past or delaying something to end. And um, 
remind yourself that it's perfectly fine to let go and move on because when you cling to the past, it prevents new, right? Try not to delay something that's inevitable. And with this fool card, this is about you taking a risk and actually doing it, okay? Because the risk will be rewarding. Do you see how she's holding a gemstone in her hand? That's a reward, okay? That's fortune. That's abundance. So by you taking this risk with this fool card, it's freedom. It's a new beginning. It's you indicating that you either need to take a chance on new love or just be open to something new and trusting your intuition and just leaving the past in the past and trusting that it's never too late it's never too late to start over it's never too late to begin again and by you not knowing where this path is leading and willing to take a risk it's going to guide you toward the abundance because your intuition's on your side here okay Even though things might not run smoothly at first, you just need to keep chugging along, okay? And taking that risk here. Let's go ahead and clarify what the Six of Swords is about. What's the Six of Swords about? many too many just one card please okay the page words a lot of air a lot of air here There might have been some gossip around you. Uh, and I feel like you're moving away from something because there was people talking shit literally around you. Um, and you had to like be really defensive. Somebody was trying to manipulate you. Um, or manipulate a situation around you. And maybe you shared some information with some people that was not kept private. Um, but this is telling you to notice how you feel around certain people, okay? And that should tell you right there, okay? Hmm. Go ahead and clarify this Queen of Swords, please. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Oops. That's too many. Yeah, there was definitely uh, some people involved here. Not just one. Ooh, not just one. Just one card, please. Ace of Swords reversed. More swords. Jeez, how three? There was confusion here. There was indecision here. But with this Queen of Swords, you took the de you took the decision upon yourself because there were some people around or even you were indecisive like, "Oh, should I move on? Should I do this? Should I, you know, should I take this into my own hands?" And you did. All right, there was miscommunication, confusion, and I feel like all you were asking for was clarity, and whatever happened, or maybe you need to ask for clarity, or maybe you need to get 
get some people to fess up to something. Uh Uh-huh. Literally from their mouth, right? But whatever it is, these people tried to leave you feel defeated. They tried to... They try to leave you feeling defeated, okay, or unheard. And I feel like you took it upon yourself to confront this and clear it up, okay? And you were like, I don't care if I hurt anybody's feelings. I need to bring this up. What do we have with the hermit reversed? Wow. Wow. Hmm. By the way, I could I I'm reading your guys' comments. Interesting. Oh goodness. Wow. What about the comic card? What is up with this? Oh, that one flew out. That one flew out. Okay. The Hierophant. Yeah, so you might feel lonely and isolated because you don't have a commitment right now. You don't have a... you Or you had a commitment with somebody, right? And they left you feeling isolated. Uh, the Hierophant is also the card of... Um, Taurus. It doesn't have to be a Taurus, but it, it's... This is about conflict and struggle, and this is teaching you something. Okay? So by you feeling lonely and isolated, it's teaching you something about yourself. It's also teaching you something about what's going on in the situation, right? It's showing you something. Okay? You might even be someone who, through this loneliness, through this isolation, you're you're getting more spiritual, all right? And you might even start teaching some sort of healing arts or, or, or offering spiritual guidance to somebody, or maybe somebody's coming into your life that's entering or, or that's being a teacher to you through all this, right? Okay. Last but not least, clarify this Ten of Swords. There was a burden, definitely, that was being um, brought here. Okay. One card, please. Four swords. A lot of swords in this reading. Holy moly. Okay. A lot of air. A lot of just, just wow. Just a lot of conflict. A lot of cutthroat energy. A lot of um, sharp energy, right? A lot of truth hurts and, you know, backstabbing and unpleasant communication. But this Four of Swords clarifying the Ten of Swords is you introspecting and resting, right? You're really introspecting this this, this situation. You're calming your mind and you are relaxing, okay? Or if, And if you're not doing this, this is telling you to do this. If you feel stressed or anxious, you need to meditate and you need to get some rest because this is going to create space in your mind for intuitive messages to come in that lead to solutions, okay, regarding this. Focus on your self-reflection, focus on your breath work and, 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 and things that will calm your nervous system. I'm getting a very nervous, anxious energy, a very stressed energy, a very tired energy. Okay, let's go ahead and pull um, some Oracle.
Oh, I'm sorry, not Oracle. Let's put some message cards here. Alright. What messages do we have for Pile 3? Next month? Okay. Not sure. Uh, you know what. Something might be coming in next month. Something... I think this is all your fault. Interesting. This is some energy here. Some blame energy going on here. Oh my goodness. If I follow you, I could lose everything. This is either you or this person. Again, with the blame energy, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but this could be you. Like, if you follow this person or if you continue to have this person in your life, it could lead you to losing either everything that you've worked hard for, okay? Because they could just push you into... Uh, they could push you into... A situation or I'm sorry a a part of yourself that you don't like or part of yourself that is not who you are right it's like they push you to be this person okay we have listened to your heart I always clean my decks. Thank you. I got my Palo Santo. We used up here, but I, and I got my Sage too. Okay. I was like a little bit of fire in my readings too. One more. Do you take me serious? Alright, I don't know if this is you or them. But somebody feels that they're not being heard here. Or if if this is not you, this is the the person and um it's like almost like they don't want to hear your side. They just want you to hear their side, right? And we have, I have unresolved karma under the deck. Whoever you're dealing with has a lot of karma to go through. Okay, a lot of things that they need to resolve. Otherwise, karma is going to keep coming up for them because they're not resolving their issues. Okay. more messages what do we have for my pile three you dodged a bullet one more We have there's no one that compares. I put up a front. Workaholic. Now, take these however they resonate, and then under the deck, I never took this serious enough. Okay. Pile three. Um, like I said, this person will never admit probably ever if not for a very long time 
uh, because they had to put up a front and they have an ego, right? And they never took you serious until you actually put your foot down and you actually showed them that they're not going to play you like that, right? Um, somebody's a workaholic here. Somebody might have their own business. Somebody might um, just be focused mainly on work right now. But whatever it is, Pile 3, we all know that um, you can't get through to somebody who number one doesn't take you serious or the situation serious and number two that they need to put up a front they can't even actually be a real individual they can't show their true self and they can't stand that you are real okay you're a real one and they can't stand it so they have to they have to put up a front okay pile three that was your reading i hope that it resonated for you I hope that you um, I hope that you got some messages and I hope that it gave you clarity as well. If you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube, please, please, please do so. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Like I said, I already said that. Please comment um, and I would love to hear your guys' stories as well. Okay, so anyway, I hope that you guys have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.